the same, they just get um, randomly rearranged with the generation system. Yeah. So for this game, it will be a ZVZ this time, mixing it up. Still Zerg, but now it will be a mirror matchup, so we can see how that turns out. Uh, red or Dark Templar versus Green Sift the Abyss. And the map will be Orboro Shipyard. That rings a bell. Wasn't that uh, in a Heart of the Swarm map pool by any chance? No, um, this was in the beta, I believe. Yeah, when they did the Legacy of the Void beta test. Hmm, I see. So we got 12 people. Awesome. Okay, so this will be quite a thing. Okay, let's introduce our players. On a top right position, we have the Red Zerg, Dark Templar. And on the bottom left hand side position, we have Sif the Abyss. He's um, from Ta, and he's on the EU side, helping out the NA side on this climb war. Nice. Always see good to see players pitching in for a good cause. So this is a one spawn location, so both players know exactly where they are. They're both Zerg, so they will be able to scout each other easily with the overlords. Um, no gold that I can see on this map. Oh wait, 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 nope, no, two, two in, the middle. in the middle. Yep, just noticed it now. But he's being very sneaky. Don't go, don't, uh, he's gonna go for the expansion before. It's gonna be very hard. Yeah, generally the advice I've been given in CVCs, which is my worst matchup, is um, go for the pool first, just in case there's a Ling rush ahead of time. And well, there he oh. should be able to technically block off the aggression, but it's going to be very hard that he's not getting gas yet. Oh, he's going to get us soon. Uh, I just want to point out, Dark Templar put this spawny pool right in the way of his extractor so I think that adds like just maybe milliseconds um, shapes of milliseconds of the production of the gas but it is a bit oh, take the other gas take the other gas now take the other gas don't worry about that gas come on Dark Templar took hmm. his gas this is not good a little bit of cheese there I'll do that all the time when I was in silver you should really get gas he, sh he is in gonna be in trouble soon. At least that, because nothing's happening. Yeah, Dark Templar is getting some vision into his base. He can sort of see the saturation going on. He can see the eggs right on below Sif's uh, hatchery, so he can see what units are being made, at least in this hatchery. He doesn't know whether he grabbed a natural or not, so. Sif is not in a bad position necessarily. But he should be getting gas already to try and get caught up with the um, speed. Oh yeah, see, we do see two Zerglings moving ahead of time. Um, Dark Templar is very aggressive uh, with this with his playstyle. He's denying gas. He's moving two things out. He is well, getting a Bailing's Nest. Big. So he's gonna spread creep, and he should be able to use the two queens that he has in the front to block the aggression off. So that's one way of helping. Yep, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna block off the aggression. He needs to move that queen. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, both queens are in a hold position, so they will not move out if there's an enemy unit. They will act as a wall. And in the meantime, the spine crow will be able to move up. He should move up that spine crawler for a little bit, and then he should be fine with deflecting attacks. Do keep in mind, Dark Templar does have a baneling nest, so he might be able to just bust through those queens. They are armored units, they do have uh, plenty of health between them. But uh, I would really like Sif to move up the spine crawler just to assist those queens if there are any mo units moving in. Sif has a lot of minerals, yeah, he's mining no gas. He's taking two more gas, okay, now he's gonna mind it. But he needs to make 
lair and throw it down in the war horn. Roach horn, since he's not getting speed anytime soon. Maybe he's gonna go mutas. Uh, yeah, I've seen some good two base muta play. He is getting gases saturated the ones he can at least. <laughs> but just do something with that spine crawler. That's bothering me so much. Move it up to the queens next to the ramp, or at least use it to kill that extractor faster. There you go. You should at least be spreading creep. Both players just macro me up and... Oh, what's this? So you're just getting a lair. Why is Dark Templar attacking those rocks? Doesn't he know he could just go around from the other side? Yeah, but you just... It's a lot easier once he breaks down the rocks to move his units around if um, Abyss decides to put in uh, frontal defense and he can just take the back and attack. Right, so this will be more of a future sort of thing that will, if Siv decides to take his third over there it will be not as well protected. Mm, the layer is finished, there's a macro hatch going down in Sif's base. S so he might be going for the um, Mutas, like you said. He is getting the speed research, it should be done very shortly. He is not aware, however, of the little army by the third. He moved up the spine car, I'm happy about that, but... Again, if um, Templar gets the Banelings, he will be able to just Spires wreck down. Sif. Well, he should be able to produce a lot more lings since he does have a lot of minerals. Dark Templar is getting a Roach Warren, so uh, we'll see how that works out. He might actually be able to borrow and go under these queens if, you know, the game will stay the same for the next uh, two minutes. Yep. He's making a lot more um, lings, but doesn't have bailings like the other guy has. Yeah, it's just uh, uh, we got. Let's look at the unit composition for real quick. We got four bailings and thirty links for uh, Templar, and forty-six links for um, Sif. So. He might be able to defend a bit against this, but if he just loses all his links to those four bailings, which yes, that is enough actually. He's making nine meters, so it should help. Since oh, now he's against war trawlers, of course. Okay, this is a bit strange. He didn't. He didn't see the Spire! How did he know to get... First of all, he's getting way too much for a speculative guess. He's getting four... I'm sorry, five Spore Crawlers at his main. He has three Spore Crawlers in his natural. Oh, standard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, standard to get five Spores? Okay, uh, I'm sorry, but this is a bit suspicious. It is. Don't focus on me. Don't focus on me. No, don't focus on the roaches. Just move in, move in, kill what you can. I mean, like he can't kill much with the spores covering the whole base, but he doesn't know that yet. Oh, we do see some... He's gonna go for the ramp. Those queens will stay there. They have full energy, so they will be able to transfuse. Mutas helping out there. Roaches are moving in now. This will be the death blow to the queens. Links are there to just block off the ramp. The Mutas will be able to clean up the roaches. There's a spine crawler right by the ma by the ramp. The Mutas have killed the third of uh, Dark Templar. Yep, and all he has to do is keep on masking mass links and straight up attack because he doesn't have any defenses. Oh, Ravager's being informed. No, he needs to move those mirrors. Don't lose them. Oh. So 
Surprisingly, no workers have been killed in the yeah, making of this battle. <laughs> Okay, Sif is going for the third, which, um, as we said, we are already exposed by the rocks being gone on our right side. Hmm. Looks like Sif is moving those links in by themselves. I don't know if I agree with that. What I'll do in his place is just... Either try to snap the army as it's moving out, or just wait until there's more units in play. Which there are, yeah, his army is split. Some of the links are moving in now, the other ones are dying to roaches and ravagers. Now, both players are floating a lot of minerals and gas. I would expect Dark Templar right now to make a lot of Hydras. However, he's not doing that. He's just creating 24 links and I'm making all the Ravagers will be dead soon. Looks like Sif will take this game soon. Yep. Let's hope he can, his opponent can GG out. Yeah, the links are moving for Dark Templar for defense, but at this point... Seven workers more killed, meters. not a lot of. Yeah, I'd like to see some more tech development from Civ Best. I, I really wish he went for a Baneling's Nest. This is something that you always need. You always need a Baneling's Nest versus Zerg and Terran, just in case. Nice little block of the ramp by Dark Templar. Uh, if I was safe, I'd back off this. He's losing lanes left and right. This is not good. Well, he only has four mute um, hydras. He should definitely make more mutas. Like mutas would easily win him the game now. And well, actually, takes out hydras then. Well, this is very match specific. I mean. Yeah, sure, he'll survive this, but why risk it? Now, Dark Templar can get free banelings, and if he lands those connections, he might be able to hold on just a little bit longer. Yep, there it is. Uh, looks like this is the GG for Dark Templar. Um, I don't see how he can come back from this. He's not producing enough. Mm hmm. That's pretty much it. Okay. Yep, and we are go. getting GG. So it looks like Sifty Abyss will take this game, leaving the scoreboard.